Hi everyone, welcome to the dot. My name is Amanda. So you might have landed on my channel because you have heard that I can make homemade dinner fast and quick on nights when it's busy. And let me tell you, that is me tonight. My physical therapy went over and now I have maybe 30 minutes to get a healthy, delicious meal on the table so that my kids can eat before their Taekwondo class. So I'm gonna mic up and let's get cooking. All right, this is a meal that comes together so fast, so you're definitely gonna wanna try it. I love soup anytime, but this is fall weather, so perfect for it. So when I'm in a really big rush, chopping next to the pot that you're going to use is a big tip. So I don't think I even saw it, but said it, but you saw the title, so we're making an egg roll soup. <laughs> I've got some Savoy cabbage that I'm giving a quick rough chop. And usually when I film a video, it takes a little bit longer even to cook. But I was just, when I was driving home from physical therapy, I'm like, ah, I really wanted to share this dish. And so, you know what? Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. It's fast and I can do it. <laughs> So challenge accepted. Um, I, what I'm just doing right there was pulling out the core. And have I made this before? I don't know, I've probably made some version of it, but y'all know I don't cook with recipes and I make it up on the fly as I go pretty much every time. So the next time I make an egg roll soup, it's not gonna look like this one because it just depends on what I have in my refrigerator, what mood I'm in, what sounds good that day. Maybe I'll use chicken. This time I'm using pork. So it's all about learning some good methods. So here we have a, this is called a red cabbage. Okay, so compared to my purple shirt, I could see why it would be called red cabbage, but I don't know. To me, it's purple, but it's called a red cabbage. That's my beef with uh, red onions too. They look purple to me. But I will give it next to this purple shirt. This is definitely got a lot more pink and stuff in it. Let me get a spoon. Sorry if I'm talking super fast today, but you know, when you've got that like high energy, like gotta get dinner done. All right, so I've got like half my pot full and I'm just using a medium sized pot because I want enough soup for dinner tonight and maybe some for leftover lunch tomorrow, but I don't want to make like a ton of this soup. I'm trying to think if it would freeze well. Actually, I do think this one would freeze well. All right, got a carrot. I'm gonna give it a quick rinse. I don't usually take the time to peel my carrots. I usually just rinse them off. There's The only reason to peel them is if you're trying to do something that's a little bit fancier. So I'm gonna split it down and just cut some little half moons. You can notice the tip of my knife stays down on the cutting board and I just rock it back and forth super fast. If you hold your knife choked up like this, you'll get some really good control and you can go fast. All right, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. I had it on high, I'm gonna turn it to like medium low. And then we will chop up some pork. Oh, it's already smelling really good. Okay, originally I was, oh wait, I wanna add some garlic first. Originally I was going to use ground pork in this dish, but when I was at the store, I saw these pork chops that were 10 for a dollar. And it was such a good deal that, and I wanted to have pork chops on the menu this week. I was like, hmm. I'm gonna buy that and I'll use some of them in the soup and then I can use the rest for pork chops, which hopefully will be an upcoming video. <laughs> I'm gonna cook the pork chops up. Ah, garlic overboard. Watson, you don't wanna eat garlic, I promise. Okay, you have fun with that because now it's got dog all over it. All right, I'm gonna peel this garlic and I'll be right back. No more garlic, I picked it up. He's convinced it went underneath the oven there. Okay, so I gave this a rough chop and I'm gonna give it in and then we will cut up some of this pork. Oh, 
I'm just throwing everything into my sink. Usually I'll have a, like a garbage bowl that I can throw garbage in as I'm cooking, but didn't grab it. So I just keep turning around and throwing stuff into my sink. Okay, I don't know how many of these I want yet. I'm gonna start with two. And all I'm gonna do is slice like this. If you've got a nice sharp knife, you should be able to just slice it like that. And I'm just going for really thin pieces. Like I said, originally I was going to do ground pork, which would be perfect. If you're gonna do ground pork though, I would probably cook it first and then add the vegetables. But this, I'm just gonna kind of poach once I get the broth in there. And then you could also use chicken breast too to do this and then just have these strips. Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna eat this as a soup. And so I don't know if I really want strips that big on my spoon. So I'm gonna take each one of these and just cut them in half. So that way, as I'm eating this soup, I don't have like this really long, you know, piece of pork hanging off my soup. I'm also adding some pork wontons to this soup. So this pork is just a little extra. So I think I'm just gonna use two today. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in, wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, I gave my knife a quick wash and then I'm changing out to a smaller little cutting board because I forgot I wanted to add some of these sugar snap peas to this. And you know, totally optional. You could put mushrooms in here. You could put water chestnuts. Um, just again, using whatever ingredients you have on hand that sounds like they would go well in an egg roll. All right, so I'm gonna get these peas in, just a couple, just, you know, add a little bit. I like soups that are full of just variety of textures and here, let me show you what's looking like so far. Look at those bright colors. Love it. Now I'm gonna use my rasp to add in some ginger. I keep my ginger in the freezer and I don't even bother peeling it. If the peel bothers you, peel it before you freeze it, but then you can just, from frozen, so it's really cold right now, but from frozen, you can just grate in ginger into whatever dish or sauce that you're using. Don't let this thaw because it will turn mushy. So you wanna use it straight from frozen, use it up quickly and then put it back in the freezer and it will stay for like, I don't know, six months, I think. I looked it up, six months before it'll start to break down and become not a good texture or it'll start to crystallize, like get freezer burn type of crystal. Okay, and then make sure that you wipe the back of your rasp. I love, love, love this rasp. We'll put a link to it below in the description box. Okay, so we're gonna stir that in and then we're going to add in our chicken broth. This one is half empty from a previous meal, so I'm gonna finish it up before I open another one. And <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this video. Make sure to check out some of my other ones. They're not all quite this frantic. My chili one, it was a very nice fall day and I was just like so zen. It's much more calm. <laughs> but I'm full of energy today. It's been a really great day. My kids had their first uh, classes at the community center. I am a homeschool mom and they had electives. They're taking an improv class and an art class at the community center. So I dropped those, the girls off this morning at that and that was really fun. Okay, so now that I've got broth in here, I'm gonna go ahead and raise up the temperature a little bit so that we can start to poach this pork and then i'm going to add salt oh it smells so good i can smell the ginger and the garlic pepper and then i've got some soy sauce just a little bit maybe a couple tablespoons and again a couple tablespoons of some rice wine vinegar how are we doing on time doing pretty good doing pretty good and a splash of sesame oil because this is pretty strong. Now, if you're doing a low carb diet, then boom, stop here. But if you wanna kick this up to the next level, then we're going to add some frozen mini wontons. So these things are so adorable. Okay, I got the chicken ones. I thought I got the pork ones. We're going rogue. We're doing chicken and pork today. Okay, they're so little, they're so cute. So I'm gonna add in probably a third of this bag 
and make this soup just something else. We all fight over the wontons, so we'll, we'll be a little extra generous with them. Again, I'm kind of medium, high medium, medium high. I'm gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes because these are already cooked. They just need to be warmed up and unfrozen. And we want the pork to cook all the way through. Then dinner will be ready. Here, let me show it to you. So this is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it. And like I said, just let it cook for a few minutes. Tick tock, tick tock. I've been cooking for about 25 minutes now. And again, filming tends to take a little bit extra time. I would have done this faster if I wasn't filming. <clears throat> but I'm gonna go ahead and take off the lid and show you what it's looking like. The cabbage kind of dulls out a little bit, but it's still a really pretty vibrant color. My pork is cooked through. My noodles are now cooked and heated through. We're gonna give it a taste. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the heat a little bit. Mm. Oh, that's good. Okay, it needs a little bit more salt. And so I brought out this fish sauce, which is very salty in nature, and it's gonna add like a new Nami flavor. That's gonna go, hmm, what is that? But it's gonna be really good and add like a, just a little, it's really strong, like a teaspoon maybe. So let's put that in, give it a stir, and then we'll taste it again and see if we need to add any other table salt. So I don't wanna add more than fish, fish sauce on that. So, and if you don't have fish sauce and don't wanna use it, you can either use anchovy paste or just leave it out. Oh yeah, okay. I am gonna add a little bit more uh, just regular salt. I didn't put much when I was making this but mm, it actually does, it tastes like, it just says, screams egg roll to me, even though it's liquid, right? I'm, I'm just eating the broth right now. Perfect, absolutely perfect. All right, let's plate it up and see what we got. The last thing I wanted to add was some green onions. I forgot, I had them behind me and I forgot about them. So these are just some, actually chives from my herb garden that I wanna use up, but regular green onions would be great too. I'll add a little burst of bright green. Get some of the broth and some of these wontons in. And I gotta call my family down here soon so they can get to eating. I've got some more chives for the top. And then if you wanna put some sriracha sauce, uh, hashtag not sponsored, I love this stuff. It's wild brine probiotic sriracha. <gasps> My store stopped carrying it for whatever reason, and this bottle is now expired and I need to throw it away. But I, if you have this at your store, buy it. It's so good, it's mild, it's probiotic, so it's healthy for you. But in the meantime, I have some just regular sriracha and we'll put some wonton crisps on top. And we'll give this a taste. All right, I'm gonna cut into one of these wontons. They're like the best part, I think. Mm. It's really good. Earthy, flavorful, Chinese flavors with the soy and the rice wine vinegar. Definitely make this on a night when that you don't have that much time and you just need to get homemade dinner quick on the table. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button and check out that my last video, the chili video, so good. And it's another, it's a fast cooking chili. So not a, like a, oh, let's cook it all day long, fast cooking. So definitely check it out. Until the next video, bye.